This video was designed with audio description for people who are blind or visually impaired. Three men are waiting at a bus stop on a cloudy day. That's the SARS? It might be. It's a bus. I guess we're going to find out. It's seven. The bus arrives and the doors open. Is this inbound or outbound? Um, inbound, Central Station. Okay, we don't want this one then. That's Central Station. Okay, Usman wants to see it. Usman, thank you. A white cane helps Frank navigate the city sidewalk. You know, I'm not totally blind, and this has been kind of a gradual thing for me. Uh, I mean, I've, I've had eye problems my entire life, but this, this glaucoma thing has be, become acute in the last 10 years. Frank sits with Usman at the table. Frank is, I don't know, like I wish I had more clients like him. In a sense, he's very eager to learn. He go outside of the box to learn things on his own. Frank navigates his phone at the table. And then have you used Siri to send text messages? I have, yes. Okay. And have you used it to read text messages to you? I have not. I had him turn on um, speak back or voice over sometimes, and I can read what's on a screen to him so he's not using his vision. I, I, I can't say enough about Josh and, and Usman and the people I've dealt with down at ABBI have been awesome because they're they totally get where I'm coming from. Training for Frank continues outside of his home and on the city bus. Then I can just transfer at Central, and I just go around the, you know, That's the same question. Yeah. Um, so anything we step foot outside is kind of where I come into play. So it's not just public transportation by any means. Um, it's all the way down to basic concepts of streets and then intersections or navigating your neighborhood using cardinal directions or using a GPS to get around. Frank navigates a parking lot. It's just a matter of leaning into the resources and the um, all the all the information um, and training that they've given me is leaning into it and try to make that part of who I am. Frank talks with Josh and Usman inside his home. We're here for the support, not only just for orientation mobility, certified vision rehab, or you know, with Usman and assistive technology in in the employment program, we also have support groups to kind of go over the stages of grief um, because you have to kind of work through that before we can start a lot of training. Um, we need you to be ready just as we're ready for you. Like my phrase to my patient or clients, she's like, it's a journey of discovery. Josh drives Frank to his training session. That's kind of an ongoing thing. I'm still, uh, you know, the whole idea of like, I don't want to draw attention to myself and I don't want to be in people's way, but at the same time needing to understand that it's, it's not just for me to navigate, but it's also for pe other people to see, hey, this person is visually impaired. Frank is riding the city bus. I'm, I'm just really thankful for people like the ABVI who are available to help people in my situation and uh, be open to the things they, they offer. A logo fades up for the Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired.